Here's five hacks to add plugins to Final Cut Pro in 2023. I've made over 100 Final Cut Pro plugins, and today I'll show you the right way to add them. And at the end, I'll hook you up with $138 worth of plugins for free. But first, let's plug into the matrix. The first way to install plugins is through Finder. So I have some plugins I downloaded. Actually, I made these myself. Once you've got them downloaded, just double click on the zip file to open it up. And then inside, you'll want to find your different types. So this one has some effects, titles, and transitions. If we look inside of there, we'll see different effects that go with this product or this plugin and the same for some titles and transitions. So I'll open up another finder window and I'll go to my hard drive. I'll go to users, me, Dylan, and then, and I'm looking for this movies folder. I'll open that up. And then I'm looking for motion templates. If you don't see that folder, don't worry. I'm gonna show you what to do in just a second. Open up motion templates, and in here you should see a few different things. You should see compositions, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. What we need to do is move these files into each of those respectively. So my effects need to go in here. So I'll select effects, and then I'll just drag, and I'm gonna hold down option so that it copies it instead of moves it. Okay, now it's in there, our effects are. Let's do the same for titles. First, I'll select titles over here, and then I will select my titles, and I'll drag and drop it in here, and I'll hold down option to make a copy instead of moving it so that I can keep these intact if anything goes wrong. And now let's do the same for transitions. Click on transitions, option, click, drag, and drop into the transitions folder. Now, let's open up Final Cut Pro. To find the titles, click on this button up here in the upper left corner to show the title browser. And then if I scroll down, I'll see it right here. It's called VHS Pop Titles. There they are. Sweet. Let's look for the effects. I'll click on the effects browser button and we'll scroll down and we're looking for VHS Pop Effects. There they are. Now I can just drag and drop that onto my timeline. And just like that, we have a sweet looking effect. Now let's open up the transitions browser and let's look for our VHS pop transitions. Sure enough, there they are. Drag and drop them between two clips and we are good to go. So let's say you don't have this motion templates folder or titles, effects, transitions. No worries. What you can do is create those folders, but you have to do it in a very specific way. So I'll right click and I'll say new folder and I'm gonna call it motion templates and it has to be spelled exactly like this. Now, I already have a motion templates folder here, so I can't name it the same thing. I'm gonna put a one here, but you're not gonna do that. Then I'll press enter. Then I'll right click on it and I'll select get info. And under name and extension, I need to type dot localized, just like that. Now remember, you're not gonna put that one there. This is if you don't have the motion templates folder. Then inside here, I'm going to add another folder, right click, new folder, call it effects, and we'll do the same for titles and transitions. If you do have some plugins that have generators, then you'll want to add that as well. I'll right click, new folders, generators. Most plugins don't use generators, but you might have some that do that. Okay, now we need to select all of our new folders and press command I to bring up the info window. And now I'll add that doc localized for each one. I'm going to select dot localized, copy it, press enter. Now I can just quickly paste it for each one. All right, now that those are created, I can put my effects, titles, and transitions in there just like before and restart Final Cut Pro, and those will show up in the titles, effects, and transitions browser. I bet you didn't know that dot localized trick. That gets people all the time, so don't worry about it. Are you enjoying this video? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? Thank you. In just a second, I'm gonna show you those free plugins I promised, but first I wanna show you how to add plugins through Motion. Apple Motion is how most plugins are made. It's a motion graphic software that Apple owns, and we can use it to add our plugins or save our plugins in Final Cut Pro. Motion is $50, so it's a pretty good deal. If you don't have it, no worries, but this is just another way that offers a little bit more flexibility. So with my plugin that I downloaded unzipped, I can go in and double click on one of these motion files. For effects, it's .moef. For titles, it's going to be .moti, and for transitions, .motr. So let's open up this effect here. I have motion, so I'll just double click on it. It's going to open up the effect here in motion, and we can see it. I can go up to File, select Save As, or just press Shift-Command-S. We'll give it a name. I don't wanna keep this, so I'll just put Delete, and we'll select our category, or we can create a new one. And for theme, we'll set to None and then click Publish. We'll close this file and then go to Final Cut and you'll see it now appears here in Final Cut. I can drag and drop that and use it just like any other effect. This is really handy if you wanna customize the category and the theme. However, you do have to go through and do each one at a time. So it can be kind of time consuming. 
You can also install them directly in Final Cut Pro. So go to your applications and right click on Final Cut Pro and select Show Package Contents. Double click on Contents folder, go to Plugins, Media Providers, Motion Effect, Contents, Resources, and then Templates. Ah, do we see something familiar here? We've got effects, generators, titles, transitions. So we can do the same thing. I can drag and drop and hold down Option to move the effects in there. I'll need to enter my password. And then I'll do the same for titles. Select, click and drag, hold down option, enter the password again. And then finally, the same for transitions. And now let's restart Final Cut. And if we go to our titles browser and scroll down, sure enough, our titles are there. And if we go and look, our effects are there as well. And so are our transitions. If you're going to do this a lot, I highly recommend you save the folder in your sidebar. Just click and drag templates over here to your sidebar. And now if I'm in my desktop, I can quickly go to the templates and add them. Now, keep in mind, anytime you update Final Cut, this folder is gonna get refreshed and you'll lose those. So if you do it this way, make sure you save those folders before you update Final Cut Pro. Now to remove your plugins, it's pretty easy. You just delete them. So let's go back to our hard drive, uh, users, me, and movies, and then our motion templates folder. I like taking and dragging and dropping this motion templates folder to my sidebar as well. Then I have quick access to it by just clicking on it. All right, let's find our plugins we want to delete. In effects, here they are, VHS pop effects. I just select it and then press delete. I do the same for titles and for transitions. Now, if I restart Final Cut Pro, we'll see that they're not in there anymore. It should be down here under transitions and under effects and under titles. They're gone. They've been removed. The easiest way to add plugins in Final Cut Pro is to use an installer. And I have a pack of plugins. It's effects and titles and transitions. It's called the All-Star Pack. It's worth $138, but I want to give it to you for free as a gift. Just click the link in the description below and check out how easy it is to install it. So I've downloaded one of the installers. I'll double click to unzip it. And then I just double click on the installer and it opens up. I'll click agree. And then I just click install. And like that, it's installed. I'll press OK and then quit. Now, if I go into Final Cut Pro and then go to the lower thirds here, now I have access to them. I can just drag and drop that onto my timeline. And just like that, I have some really professional looking graphics that I can customize and make my videos look even better. I can move things around. I can change the size. I can change the text as well here. And I have a bunch of stuff published so I can change the look of it. I can change the colors and so much more. And just like that, we have an amazing looking graphic. So to get that, just click the link in the description below. Happy editing.